Hello traders, so the title of the video is how to use the Elliott corrective waves more profitably. All right. Do you know the Elliott wave corrective waves? And how do you use the Elliott wave corrective wave pattern more profitably? All right. So the first thing that comes to our mind when we hear the word corrective wave, all right, is it what is it correcting? So a corrective wave will always correct an impulse wave. So we want to know what that corrective wave or corrective wave pattern <coughs> is correcting. The reason why I'm recording this video because this is a, a unique scenario that often occur and traders are wondering okay what is taking place all right so we talk about the characteristic of a financial instrument at two for stock trader YouTube channel some financial instrument do not trend all right they will often all right consolidate so throughout many years those financial instruments will only consolidate so they go up from point a to point b come back to point c and then they go back to point d and they come back to point e and they are not going anywhere and they are not trending so how can we use a corrective wave in that scenario knowing that normally all right a corrective wave should be correcting okay an impulse wave or a correcting phase should be correcting all right a trending phase all right so when we come across a financial instrument that is not a trending at all it's just going up and down no trend at all all right how do we use the area wave corrective wave the Elliott corrective wave pattern more profitably. So I have one example here. We are looking at the Euro uh, Canadian dollars on the weekly chart. So you say, George, all oh, right, you're on the weekly chart. This is my favorite time. You always stuck on the monthly chart. Okay, so that's very good news for you. All right. So this is one scenario. So I want to share it with you. Maybe you will like it. Maybe you dislike it. Maybe maybe you will hate me at the end of this tutorial. All right, let's get started. So the first thing first that you need to understand that for financial instruments that do not trend, only consolidates, all right, we will see all kind of uh, corrective wave. So because the price is consolidating, it's stuck between one resistance level and one support level. So this is one scenario here that we see on the weekly charts for this uh, Euro Canadian dollar. So you are trading for it. You say, yes, George, now I love you. I can subscribe double today because you are now talking about forex because I'm a forex trader. And I say, well, enjoy it, all right? So this is a consolidation, yes or no? So everybody agrees that this currency pair on the weekly chart is consolidating between the level of 16022 and the level of 12465, roughly. And the media line of that consolidation is in a zone of 14187. The market pattern will determine the appropriate strategy that we must deploy. So if we have observed that a financial instrument is not trending, is only consolidating, we'll apply okay, a consolidation strategy. Whether we are using the area wave or predictive fractal pattern or stochastic, the market pattern will determine the appropriate, the most efficient trading strategy that we must deploy. So if you observe this chart, you have noticed that it's consolidating at this, you'll be looking for an opportunity to sell at this level here. So if I come to the level of 1C022, or you'll be willing to look for an opportunity to sell, okay, yes or no, that would be a pure profitable uh, strategy. Again, if you come near the level of 12465, you'll be looking for an opportunity to buy. If it's coming down from the top and reaches the media line level, all right, you'll be watching for other traders, if you're a day trader, 
for some trader that are taking profit at a midpoint. That will also be okay a profitable a trading strategy. All right. But if you look carefully on this chart, all right, you see that the price went up from here. Pay attention carefully because this is a very important uh, tutorial for traders because sometimes the price is not trending. See, why should I do George? So here it is. It went up from here to here. All right. But this is not a trend. Everybody agrees. If you disagree, let us know that this is not a trend. Look at this previous move down and it went up. This is not a trend, okay? In fact, we can see one, one, two, three. Yes or no? It's not a trend. But after that move up from here to here, the price start coming down. So this is it. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, down. And now, in the mind of area we trader, we will say, all right, there was a, a move up. Now we see one, two, three, A, one, two, three, B, one, two, three, C. So for us, <laughs> using the area way pattern, something is clicking in our mind. We are the purest area wave traders. We are thinking of the, the area wave triangle. Yes or no? A, B, C, D, E, a triangle. So because of that observation, though this is not a trading fence, we see one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, A, B, C. Now we are expecting D to be formed in the shape of one, two, three, followed by another one, two, three, to form the E pattern. So you may see, George, I don't know why you are talking about here today, because we don't have a training first, we don't have an impulse wave. What is that correcting wave that A, B, C, D, E, in your way triangle, is correcting? Understand? That if a financial instrument does not trend, is only consolidating, we will see all kind of corrective wave patterns. So you will see one corrective wave after another corrective wave. So in fact, we will talk about complex correction when a correction is prolonged because a consolidation is a kind of correction, yes or no. Though we do not have a trend in place, the price is just going up and down. So we can't talk about multi-wave, we can't talk about uh, okay, impulse wave, but we can look for, all right, if the price is consolidating, if the financial instrument does not trend, we can look for the area wave corrective wave. And this is the scenario here for the Euro Canadian dollar. I'm trying to please trade that say that, George, we don't want you to the video to be too long, so I'm checking the time now, okay? Here it is, seven minutes, okay? Mm -hmm. Am I making sense today? All right. If you look carefully again, you'll be thinking that, George, well, this is another one, two, three. That's the W. Prime form a double bottom chart pattern, which is a validation of support level. During that consolidation phase, this is a W, followed by X, one, two, three. So you may say this is a failure of a trend. Because very often, after a validation of support level, we'll expect an impulse wave. That impulse wave has failed. That support to be a trading fair has failed. That expected trade did not happen. We'll level this one X. So you see, George, well, one, two, three, W, X, one, two, three, a failure of a trend. Now we know that the Y of the WXY corrective wave pattern can be either a flat correction, a zigzag, or a triangle. By the way, there was a comment in the section. The trader said to me, George, you see that the, the internal wave, this is a very important question, the internal wave of the WXY is free, free, free. Why can you say that the Y can be a triangle, which is A, B, C, D, E, and you are talking about five. That will be another video, all right? But to answer that question very fast is that when we look at free, 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 don't be uh, fixated, am I speaking with my beautiful American accent, on the number of internal waves, but concentrate because the W, X, Y wave pattern, we are talking about 
the X wave conjoining or joining, okay, two corrective wave. So the first three is about a corrective wave pattern. It can be a flat correction. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So that flat correction is due. Are we calling it eight? It's not eight, it's three. Right. Now understand the question is correct. It's a challenging question. The X is one, two, three. Here it is, one, two, three. But then when we say that the Y will be a triangle, then we are talking about one, two, three, four, five. See, A, B, C, D, E. So the internal wave of the W, X, Y is no more three, 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 but three, three, five. If the W, if the Y is a triangle, that was the question. All I will say to you at this, at this point in time is that we are talking about three as a corrective wave. All right? We'll talk about that. We'll go back to it. We'll look at it. All right? And uh, talk about it more. All right? So you may say, this is W wave. This is the X wave. Now we are having a triangle. Will you agree with uh, that uh, forecast? That looking at this uh, price structure, it's a gigantic co consolidation that is taking place. A consolidation is not a trend in price. The price confined between two key levels. We did not see any impulse wave. Did you see any multi wave? Let me know in the comment section. All right. So I welcome all the comments. You can challenge me and say, Joe, you won't believe, boy, but I don't agree with you today. All right. This is what I see. Sometimes I may reply straight away. Summertime. All right. I may answer in another video. All right. So here it is. This is what I see on this uh, weekly chart for the Euro Canadian dollar, a consolidation between 16022 uh, and a level of 12465, media line at 14187. Uh, during the consolidation phase, we may see multiple, various, all right, different type of corrective wave. So this is what I want to, you to get today. When you come across a financial instrument, because some financial instruments do not trend as such, they, they just go, to one key level and then go back to the same level and the professional traders know that because why the the, the market pattern will always determine the appropriate strategy to, 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 to deploy so the first thing that you are looking at anytime you are trading whether you are an wave trader you are you are using the correct area wave correct you in is that which market pattern do we have now we talk about the six biggest trading mistake at dayprotrader.com. Check it out. All right. So very, very important. What is the current market pattern? That's the first thing you want to know. That will determine the appropriate strategy that you want to deploy. Is it trending? Rising channel? Is it consolidating? Horizontal channel? Or a triangle? Or a, a, a corrective wave? Or is it going down in a declining channel, forming lower lows, lower high, without any area wave violation in the multi wave? If that, if the prior is not trending, and it's consolidating, you are likely to see all kind of uh, corrective wave. So one corrective wave, you may see also the X wave, which means a corrective wave is completed during that uh, consolidation. People try to buy, expecting a new trend. The trend may fail, forming the X, which will be the price. So, so here people expecting a trend high going down. We expect it to continue to go up. I did it. It stopped at the top of the consolidation. Now that will call, that will call it X. So we may see another corrective wave. So we are likely to see a complex W, X, Y, okay, wave a pattern. So looking at this chart on the weekly chart, this is what I've seen at this junction. Unless, my friend, always I say that, because sometimes maybe I'm missing a lot of data here. Uh, in that case, there's nothing I can do. So if I can have more data, that would be good. Let's go to the yearly chart and see, all right? But this is it. On the yearly chart, do you see a trend? This is so we are talking about the, the weekly chart wave count. Now we go to the higher degree wave count. Can you see a trend here? No. All right, price went down. Okay, and it's just going up and down. So there is no trend on the higher degree wave count. So we can talk about uh, trend in first, first wave, second wave, third wave, fourth wave, fifth wave, all right, and so on, wave extension, and so on. we can't talk about it because this currency pair is what? is not a trending have you ever come across that all right so this is it so don't call it a trend or multi way or don't force it and say one two three four five this is a, a first wave it's consolidating so the trend will begin 
You remember how we identified the first wave? When the price breaks above the consolidation zone and find the support, and then we take it from there and start waiting for the proper trade. But remember, as I always say to traders, all right, that the area we count is one step at a time. All right. So you hate me for that? Did you hate me for that? Say the all the time. The reason why I say that is that with the information that we have today in front of us, that's all I can say. If the price continues to go up or down and we see a different picture, we'll come back again and look at the chart. So you may say, Joel, all right, I remember last time you were talking about WXY, now you are talking about trading fair. What are you talking about? But with this thing on the chart, can you see something different? If you see something different, let us know. So for traders that are trading, okay, currency pair, Forex, FS, blah, 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 all right, and if you want to trade this currency pair, I have a warning for you. It's quite volatile. It's not for children. It's not for beginners. All right, I need to tell you that because if you are trading for us and you never trade a currency pair before and you are trading for the first time, sometimes you may come across some of the currency pairs that are quite okay, uh, challenging. All right, so one example is the British pound, Swiss franc, this one here, British pound, Swiss franc, currency pair. Uh, British pound, okay, Japanese yen, British pound, New Zealand dollar, and even your broker will be asking for a bigger, okay, stop loss. So as soon as you enter the trade, you see minus or 10. So you are already $10 in loss as soon as you enter the trade. You say, why, why, why? I just enter the trade. What have I done wrong? But because of the risk attached to that, product, that uh, currency pair, your broker also has to protect the account and they are asking you for bigger uh, stop loss. So if you, are, you do not have enough experience for trading the Euro Canadian dollar, you may skip this one. Only thing that you are gaining in this tutorial is that you are learning something new or maybe you are establishing what you already know about the corrective wave pattern. So all in all, if you are okay, a fully fledged experienced for a trader, want to trade this challenging currency pair, all right? or you are, you, you are familiar with this currency pair you want to trade it. So this is our expectation. So what have I said to trade it? The most important thing, all right, is the most important thing is not the area wave theory itself. But when we are applying the area wave theory, what I say 100 times is that the price action is the most important thing. Draw the trend line, draw the support level, and trade on the edge of those a key level. I have placed on my chart here the pitchfork two. Is the pitchfork two part of the area wave theory? No, but we need it because it will help us to make excellent decision. Though we are talking about area wave count, so now we can see that the price. As I'm talk, keep talking to you now, we see the W completed here, the X completed here. We are now having a triangle A, B, and C. So now I join. You see now I draw another trend line. So do that. They draw the trend line. So a lot of uh, area with trade, they just put their wave count like this, and they don't do anything else. And they forget about it, everything else. So you can see that if I came out of that uh, uh, pitchfork too, look, it came down here, all right, all right, forming this low. It bounced out, look, it, it, it touched the edge of that uh, pitchfork too. So if you did not put that pitchfork too there, how would you know that there's a resistance there? So draw the resistance. Nothing should stop you. After you have done your area we come to draw trail line to know exactly what is taking place so you don't end up doing something okay uh, that can compromise okay your area wave a technical analysis. So this is uh, my uh, observation looking at the euro Canadian dollar. We are expecting if you break this resistance and find a support to continue to go to, re to go back to the edge of uh, that pitch for two. There is a resistance in the zone of one C zero to two, all right, which is the top of the consolidation, and then probably people will sell it one more time. They don't have to. Price can go up. So though this is our expectation, the price can go above it and start running away straight away. And you say, Joe, you said that we will expect one, two, three down. Why it didn't happen? Because the price can print something else that is completely the opposite of our expectation. All right, the area we count or the area wave, uh, the area corrective wave pattern. All right will help us to improve our technical analysis. It's a guide that will allow us to have a bit of an edge. Right? If our expectation is taking place, we have an edge, all right? yes or no? 
And if you see a trending setup like here, if it, if it did break above this 100 support, will you be interested to buy it? If you want to buy it, don't just buy it. Use a different time frame trading method to control the risk. As a trader put it to me last time, it's all down to risk control and we can't afford to ignore the top-down trading method because if the signal fail, will come out, though we are expecting it to go up, if it fail here, it start going down. So if he, if he reached this level of final resistance instead of going up, so we will expect it to do what? To come down here. This is about concentrating on the price action itself instead of, okay, uh, remaining, okay, in that, uh, okay, uh, small circle of the area we count. All right, so don't agree. So before I reason here, bounce back to this support level and maybe come back again here, blah, blah, blah. Okay, before popping out, you may say, Joe, what are you talking about? I'm talking about everything that you need to know so you may make excellent decision. But talking about any web trader that is looking at this chart, try to understand the language of the prior and use the Elliott correct way pattern with respect to that trader that we have a gigantic W, X, Y, and the Y is in the shape of uh, A, B, C, D, E wave pattern. We are expecting the, the D wave to be completed right there. Make be completed. We will see. And then followed by the another one, two, three down to form the E pattern before the prime is start going out or cons continue to consolidate between the level 1, C, 0, uh, 2, 2, and this uh, trend line here. So draw the trend line, draw all your key level, and trade on the edge. What you are looking for, you are looking for a trading setup on the edge of one of those key levels, and then you implement a top-down trading method. For instance, here, if the price is coming down, one, two, and this common statement is kaput, you implement a top-down trading method here to sell it down, expecting it to come to this level. It may not come here, it may stop before reaching this level, but you want to control the trade, manage it, right? and if it reaches this level, and find a support, common statement is kaput, Again, to control the risk, use a top-down trading method, and then take it up, price going down. Remember the resistance ahead, draw them, and uh, just take it one step at a time, all right? So this, we conclude our discussion today about uh, how to use uh, the Elliott corrective wave patterns more uh, profitably. To summarize this video, not all financial instruments will trade. Some financial instruments will consolidate throughout many years, all right? So for those financial instruments, during the consolidation phase, we will see various, okay, corrective wave pattern. One of those corrective wave pattern is the WSY pattern. So yeah, you will see a correction, after a correction, you may see the X wave, and we will use, okay, the corrective wave pattern to focus the market and to trade them, okay, more profitably. If you like the video, all right, let us know by giving us a signal, thumbs up. Let us know that, all right, I've done a very good job to them. But if you think that, George, this is another blah, 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 and you are the worst idiot with trader I ever come across, let us know in the comment section and also give us the turn down uh, that will put me under pressure. All right, to go back to my uh, YouTube creator uh, drawing board. However, we think that this is an essential tutorial what you can do to help us, share it on Reddit, on Google+, on Facebook, and also on Twitter. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW24 Traders, talking about how to use Elliott corrective wave, a more corrective wave pattern, more profitably. Now, it's 24 minutes. Is it too long again? Or right, some video will be long, some video will be short, but the average length of our video will be around 20. So I hope you do not hate me that this is another 24 minutes. So I'm expecting five minutes. All right. Thank you for watching and uh, speak to you as soon as.